Title, Shrouded Descent. In the heart of the dense Appalachian woods, a veil of silence hung over the quaint town of Hollowbrook. Known for its rustic charm and isolated existence, Hollowbrook held a sinister secret beneath its picturesque facade. The tale began with a peculiar mansion perched atop a hill, overlooking the town like a brooding sentinel. Its name, whispered only in the darkest corners of Hollowbrook, was the Blackthorn Manor. Stories circulated that the mansion was cursed, inhabited by generations of a reclusive family rumored to dabble in forbidden arts. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows across the landscape, a group of adventurous teenagers dared to challenge the chilling legends. Sarah, the fearless leader, was joined by her closest friends, Mark, a skeptic with a taste for danger, Emily, the inquisitive dreamer, and Alex, the cautious pragmatist. Armed with flashlights and reckless curiosity, they ascended the winding path to Blackthorn Manor. As they pushed open the creaking door, the air inside the mansion was damp and thick with a malevolent energy. Flickering candlelight danced on the walls, revealing the intricate, unsettling artwork that adorned them. Stained glass windows cast eerie patterns on the floor, as if attempting to depict long-forgotten horrors. Deeper into the mansion they ventured, each step an unsettling reminder of their audacious decision. The atmosphere grew colder, the air heavy with the scent of decay and despair. Flashlights revealed glimpses of grotesque sculptures, frozen in twisted agony, and peculiar artifacts that whispered tales of woe. A sudden noise echoed through the corridor, sending shivers down their spines. Heartbeats quickened as the group exchanged anxious glances. Sarah, refusing to show fear, urged them forward, her bravado masking the growing unease that gnawed at her. They stumbled upon a grand chamber, where a colossal mirror dominated the room. Its reflective surface seemed to ripple like dark water, drawing their gaze into an abyss of twisted reflections. Mark, scoffing at the mounting tension, stepped forward to inspect the mirror. As he did, his reflection twisted, contorting into a grotesque parody of himself. Panic surged through his veins as he attempted to step back, but an invisible force held him in place. The mirror seemed to drink his essence, leaving behind only a hollow shell. Sarah's scream pierced the air as the mirror devoured Mark, his anguished wails fading into the depths of the cursed glass. Emily and Alex rushed to her side, but the room had transformed into a labyrinth of shifting quarters, trapping them within its malevolent design. One by one, the remaining friends faced their own torments within the mansion's twisted reality. Emily was ensnared by a room of endless nightmares, where her deepest fears manifested before her eyes. Alex found himself lost in a never-ending loop of haunting memories, each more harrowing than the last. As the night wore on, the horrors intensified, pushing them to the brink of madness. Sarah's courage began to waver, her resolve tested by the unending torment. It was then that she stumbled upon a room filled with ancient tomes, each detailing the rituals and incantations practiced by the Blackthorn family. Desperation overcame her, and with trembling hands, she started to decipher the sinister texts. Time blurred as Sarah delved deeper into the forbidden knowledge, her desperation for an escape driving her to perform a ritual of her own design. The room seemed to pulse with a malevolent energy as she chanted the incantation, her voice mingling with the whispers of long-forgotten souls. In a blinding flash, the mansion trembled, and reality itself seemed to tear apart. The twisted corridors collapsed in on themselves, releasing the friends from their nightmarish prisons. But as they stumbled back into the decaying grand chamber, they realized the cost of their escape. The room was now a macabre fusion of flesh and architecture, pulsating with a sickening rhythm. The walls writhed with grotesque forms, each agony-stricken face contorted in eternal torment. The mansion had become a living embodiment of suffering, a grotesque amalgamation of pain and despair. With a gut-wrenching realization, Sarah understood that the ritual had bound their fates to the mansion. They were now forever intertwined with its horrors, condemned to endure an eternity of suffering as they became a part of its grotesque tapestry. As their anguished cries joined the chorus of tormented souls, the town of Hollowbrook remained shrouded in silence, unaware of the unspeakable horrors that had unfolded within the walls of the Blackthorn Manor. The legacy of the cursed mansion would endure, a chilling reminder of the darkness that lurked just beyond the veil of reality.